All right, weaving placards and um, brandishing leaf stems, students took on to the streets, um, congregating at key locations such as the main gate, the University Academic Building, and the Directorate of Student Affairs Building at Tai Sholaring University in Ogun State. The unified voice echoes their strong opposition to the proposed school fees increase, of course, as returning students at the institution who were anticipating fees of 65,000 naira have been met with a staggering increase um, with new fees at a hefty 180,000 naira. Fresh students, on the other hand, are not um, spared either because um, they would face an, face an initial payment of 240,000 naira in excluding additional fees. Now, this substantial hike in tuition costs has ignited outrage among the student body, led by the Students' Union um, government, that's the SUG, who have organized protests to voice their disapproval. They contend that the fee increase will further exacerbate the economic hardship already imposed by the federal government's recent removal of fuel subsidies. So tonight we're asking, right, all this one that they are bickering about, increment to from 65, it's true, it's bickering to 65 to 180,000. And their new fees of 240,000 naira. Right? Can 65,000 naira give quality higher education? That is the question. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 1803 mm -hmm. Diola, mm -hmm. I had <laughs> No, I mean, sometimes I, I, it's very funny. It's funny. I'm not the how much did I pay for my child? Exactly. Like exactly. And that's the point. <laughs> a lot of times we, we like to oh, no, sentimentalize no, no, no. things. Mm -hmm. And we, we are not very <laughs> practical. Well. Honestly, I, personally, I mean, there are some conversations I don't like to have because people don't look at the, the, the reality of mm -hmm. things. Yes, you may say that, okay, 65000 for education and all that. But who bears the cost of infrastructure, resources, mm -hmm. and all that. Who bears the cost? The federal government? I mean, you, you are at a university. You are not a taxpayer, mm -hmm. number one. You are not a taxpayer. Yes, you're a citizen, but I mean... Your how, parents are. Are your parents paying tax? If, okay, let's even... If we say let's go to the nitty-gritty, you'll be amazed. That their parents are... A lot of them, their parents are not paying tax. So yes, the government is obligate, obligated to do certain things. But we must also understand that education is not free. It's not, it's not, I mean, university is, is, is a luxury. There's so many people, well, I mean, world popular, the Bill Gates, after all, he didn't go to the, the dropout. Steve Jobs. Yeah, the Steve, oh, no, I mean, most of all this IT, they are dropout. It's not, I mean, if you don't have a university education, it does not mean you will not be successful. So... Let's not put the body in where it is not supposed to. Really? Okay, so yes, really. People actually pay. I paid less for my university education. So now. Continue. Wait, wait, make sure you continue. continue. Yeah. I paid less for my uni. However, this is where I fault them, right? Mm -hmm. I went to a federal university. Mm -hmm. Now, for a private university to be taking 65,000, I mean, it's not. State? It's a state um, university. Oh, Shalari is it? Yeah, Thai uh, Shalari College of Education. Oh, I, I always thought it was. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a state university. My apologies, Actually, everyone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, for state university. How much your school fees? My school yeah. fees. Sorry. How about These are people that went to school free. Do I look like a baby boomer? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but no, 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 yeah, part of the did you not get good education? So much no, my school fees were 28,000. Repeat yourself again. You know, 28,000 for ads? What's your talking again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you not receive good education? That is what I said. You did not. Ah, okay, sorry. Let me, let me, good if you shall let me make, I finish, finish my your own. point. Mm -hmm. okay. So I paid 28,000 for ad students, and I think science, science students were paying like 35,000. Um, the education was enough to give me exposure needed as per where I was coming from. Mm -hmm. But eventually when I met the broader scope, like the bigger world, mm -hmm. I realized that there was a lot I didn't know. So I had to take my, take my time to deliberately educate myself. But at least it gave me 
that basic footstep to at least be able to relate with the world on a certain level before I could step up. Now, in this period right now, I would say 65,000 Naira really isn't enough to give you um, um, a typical education because of the new additions that comes with education right now. You know, you want, you want more practicals because our time, there's no practical, just talk story, go and buy text, do you have text, do you, have, do you not have text, we photocopy it, cram it, and mm -hmm. do you understand? So, but right now, the world is becoming too globalized that the, the competition is not waiting for you. Mm -hmm. So we want you, as you're coming off of, the, off of college or off of school, you're ready to face Employable, the world. Yeah. So I don't think that 65,000 naira is enough to get the, or employ the caliber of professors or thereabouts that would teach you, and also the equipment that is needed. For the practicals however i can understand why they are revolting because schools have added money but salaries are not increasing you know and most some of these people are being funded by their parents mm. so mm. that's that so let me see let me explain that mm -hmm. how do i start it that will not sound insensitive <laughs> um the quality of education that we have in this country today mm -hmm. literally and i think everywhere in the world it's, um, it's a direct correlation of uh, how much you put in. So I have people that do not even live in Nigeria where they even have quality public education for children in their nurseries and primaries, right? Mm -hmm. But they are also thinking, you know what? I don't want to, my children to go to public schools anymore. I want to pay those very expensive fees for private for schools. Private schools. Um, and the reason they will do that is because the difference is like day and night. It's yeah. clear. So, um, when people, when I see people protest like this, it just, it, it, it helps, it, it helps me to further cement the fact why we have, you know, we'll continue to have certain challenges that we have in the country. Mm -hmm. Even the 180,000 that was increased to, mm -hmm. is not enough to give a quality education, not to talk it's of, not it's not, not to talk of the 65,000 naira. Mm. And that is why the burden for institutions, educational institutions, mm. is really, yeah. it is, it's a lot of things. Mm. First of all, the institutions must become very creative. You understand? Where they, where they engage in, because there are funds available for universities that want to go into research and all of yeah. those things. Yeah. There are funding, global funding, just sitting, waiting for them. Yeah. So a lot of universities must become, in the, they, they must bring out their genius. Yeah. To go and learn all these things that would cause uh, that would help them generate some good income mm -hmm. that's on one hand most universities abroad that you can see that there's quality education right is because the, the, they have a very very powerful alumni structure yeah. and right. even the people people like um dangote um took on a university and he, yeah. that he gave them a million naira for 750 people yes that, those are the kinds of people that sustains yeah. some of the edu um, educational institutions that we mm -hmm. run to abroad. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you talk about education, education, quality education is a direct link on money. Mm. So the fact that we have a very, a very poor quality education in Nigeria, right, tells us that it, it's because we lack the funding for it. Mm -hmm. You asked me a question. Mm -hmm. Was I well educated? I would tell you a capital no. I'll say no because, first of all, I'm a hands-on person. There, there's a reason I studied physics. I don't like English. Mm -hmm. I can't sit down and read lengthy things. It's not in my college. Guess who ended up speaking a lot of English? My sister. <laughs> Tell me about it. These days, when I see... So I have a project that they will send long brief like this. I'll call my PS. Read it. Read it for me. Let me hear. Because I think sometimes it helps when I'm audit, when I listen. Because I, I learn different ways. I don't mm -hmm. just like to read long, long... If I see pages, pages, pages... Ah, it's only the page... That I know in the end there's mm. going to be money attached. That's the one that we read with power. <laughs> so imagine me studying physics and the whole four years of studying a practical course like physics. Mm -hmm. I was never, never in a lab building anything. Wow. I never even a light bulb. I didn't create a light bulb. Mm. Whoa. For somebody that loved how to, I love to use my hands to do things like experiment, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it was very, very depressing for me. Do you understand? Not even a light bulb. At 300 level, they told us to go and buy breadboard. I can never forget that day. So we buy breadboard, we buy our lab coat, we buy, uh, we bought all the, um, what's it called? What is the word now? All those fuses and all of that, that we're going mm -hmm. to create 
um, something like a, a motherboard or something like that. That project never saw the light of day. Mm -hmm. And yet we wrote exams, we passed, you know, we crammed and passed. Yeah. You know. So education in Nigeria today, you know, it's a very sorry state. And the only way we can begin to really take education seriously is pumping in money. And that's mm -hmm. why you see that even for, and it's not just money, it's a, it's a combination. A because things, even yeah. for private universities mm -hmm. right now, only very few very universities few, yeah. are investing in that line. You mentioned something around the world is evolving. I mean, we, we never, see, when we were in school, they were, teach, they were still teaching analog. Mm. Meanwhile, then, people have moved to digital. That's true. Now, where we did now, artificial intelligence. Do you understand? You we are only trying to embrace digital now. And we are just right trying to embrace digital now. It's crazy. You know, there's a problem. Mm. You know? And the only way we can get these things up and running, mm. it is money. Yeah. And okay. that's why when you see your government, they, they say they are using uh, 160 million to buy 360 cars. They are buying 5 billion naira yachts. They are buying, what's it called? Uh, uh, First ladies, um, what's it called? 1.7 billion. When you mm -hmm. see all these things, it's, it's upsetting. Because where the bulk of these funds are supposed to be channeled, which is mm -hmm. education, it's not coming education, out. Education, agriculture. Do you get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And even finally, sorry, I'll, I'll land the point and I'll let you come in. Even finally, right, for the education in itself, the government, that student loan that they say they uh, marked 10 billion, it not go rich. Mm -mm. It not go rich. It's true. It's a drop in. I know how much I paid for my children when they were in nursery. Mm -hmm. These 65,000 did not pay their nursery school fee. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Not to talk of when they entered second, uh, primary school. Secondary school, we know how much we, we, we are paying. We know we are how much we are going to pay now for university. School is not cheap anywhere. anywhere. Mm -hmm. The reason you are able to see these people announce free education, even up to tertiary, tertiary institution, is because somebody is paying for it. Somebody is subsidizing for it. Taxes have been deducted yeah. for that to happen. Jennifer. So uh, the thing is, sorry, I don't yeah. want to come in, but do you think the reason is because, like you said something, that education is really subsidized in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now you look at some of these countries that can afford free education. One of the things they've put in place is uh, student loan. Mm -hmm. That is something that we don't have yet. I'm hoping that the 10 billion naira... That's what I'm even telling you. Sorry, yeah. Sanzi, mm -hmm. to cut yeah. you. That that 10 billion is not enough. You know why? Have mm -hmm. you not heard people say that student loan abroad? Why do, why ah, do they go to university? In America. They pay, they pay <laughs> a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because look at it. The school fees mm -hmm. that, you know, that seem to be even affordable. The minimum for the four years is 200 million naira. When you convert the money. Mm -hmm. The minimum. Wow. You know, and this is like the, the cheaper one. So mm -hmm. if you now go to the ones that it's about $70,000 a, 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 a per annum, multiply $70,000 per annum times four years. That is the minimum you will spend. So that's why you see that some of those people, they don't go to college because they, they've got it free. It's okay, let them go and work. Yeah. Because for you to enter a college, right, some of the, through student loan, you will pay a lifetime. You yeah. pay through your nose. Yeah. So because it's not cheap. That's what I'm saying to you that even the 10 billion that they get, the government is saying that they have a mark for it, mm. if they really want to up the standard of education, it's not, it is a drop, a tiny drop in the ocean. Mm. But let's take a break so that we'll open our phone and say, Jola, I'll come to you. Stay with us, we'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we are discussing the topic about 65,000 naira. and we're asking, can it give quality higher education? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 8 our phone line is now open. The number to call is 07025 That's the number to call. Remember to turn off the device um, of whatever it is that you're watching us from so that we can hear ourselves. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So um, I liked what you said about, um, you know, for education demands investment. You know, if we want the quality, um, the kind of quality um, education that can drive productivity and can lead to nation building, then we must invest. Mm -hmm. Now, I think the challenge is, as with everything in most sectors in Nigeria, we wait for the government to intervene. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. 
because again, pardon me to use the word, we feel entitled to it. Mm -hmm. In a system where educators understand the importance of education, they will wait on the government. Mm -hmm. They will go out there. I remember Professor Jalili, mm -hmm. late Professor Jalili, the one time um, former vice chancellor of Unilag. The, what he turned Unilag, I mean, at a point in time, Oh, during all that uh, military era and all that, it, it was almost as if universities were not getting any funding. Mm -hmm. He turned Unilag, then they had Unilag Bakery, Unilag Water, oh, yeah. Unilag Business Center, Unilag, Unilag was generating so much income. Wow. Yeah, so much income. In fact, he, he almost, if you enter Unilag, Unilag was like a one, business hub. Oh, obviously, it was a commercial mm. hub. And you could see a lot of partnerships going on. They were doing this partnership with this bank, this partnership with UN, whatever. And you see, they were giving them a whole lot of infrastructure. You cannot say that you are educators and not be creative. About, because again, it speaks to the kind of human capacity and human resource that you are, you, you're going to have. If you say that, okay, you know what, I want to be a leading university mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to work on the kind of professors or the kind of teaching staff that you have. For you mm -hmm. to attract talent like that, you must be able to pay them. Or you must be able to provide a certain working condition Absolutely. that would make someone say, okay, you know what, I think I would like to lecture in this university. Why do you think mm -hmm. students who even go into education do not want to lecture? It's because they look at it that, please, what, what, is, what is in this thing? And then the conditions are such that, well, there's no private-public partnership, so I might not even have the opportunity to do research. I might not have the opportunity to do this. Will it be nicely rewarded? So you find a lot of Nigerians, even professors and all that, who will prefer to go abroad to go and do their tenureship and all that. You understand? Hmm. So we keep having this cycle of universities depending... Your... your, your an institution, and you are the mercy of the government. It doesn't make sense. Let's say, let's say, you know, say as Jela, they talk. I remember the <laughs> 200 <laughs> level. Honestly. That, they come bring one of Ibo Uba. Uba at a lecture hall. See, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you did lecture hall. Where we mm. say that big hall with crowd. Like, no mic. No mic. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. The woman do too is wrong. <laughs> Honestly. She was white. She was, I think she was coming from... Whether she was coming from Germany or somewhere, she had, but she came, yeah. she, she was pure <laughs> white, not even mixed bread. Yeah. But it, it, it's terrible. It, it, she was, she was, her face was the red. <laughs> no fan, nothing. No, no it's, it's terrible. terrible. Honestly, honestly. I like what you said. There mm -hmm. were a couple things you highlighted that just made me think, like, every university has a business uh, department, has a marketing department, and people who study these courses. So I think um, it would be lovely if they could utilize this business or public administration or whatever the department that handles mostly like the creative part arm um, of the of the university they could say okay for the fact that like i didn't know all that about being that i was educated in the east i didn't know all that uh about what um Unilag, yeah, yeah 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 and how he just turned well, look things at, around no, that they were generating look at revenue private universities yeah. for yeah. instance if you go just like what you've said mm -hmm. if you go into covenant university they have their water mm -hmm. they have their bread mm -hmm. you know these are basic things that you know that students would eat you, yeah. that you, that so money. It, you understand it's a no-brainer i mean you have to be creative so imagine the people studying home economics mm, or whatever, mm -hmm. from that department alone, they are turning out donuts. Yeah. Yeah. And you would think, yes. 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 No. No. You would think you would think those things don't matter until you do the bottom line. In, because uh -huh. it's mass market. Yeah. It's the numbers. Then imagine in the art department, mm -hmm. things like this. You You're understand? The you have like, an, yeah. like so a market. You see in most Honestly. universities, you see all those meshes. Mm -hmm. You see... Like, if you go to Cambridge, I went to Cambridge, you see there, I bought the Cambridge sweat, sweater. Yeah, you yeah. Know, they, these are all merchandise. Yeah. They're not yeah. becomes like, oh, prestigious things you wear. So, a school must understand that outside of the education, there yeah. is the business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, when you are complaining about 65,000 naira, mm -hmm. me and people saying that that 65,000 naira is nothing. Mm -hmm. Even the hundred, even the two hundred and forty thousand mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. nothing. It's nothing because though. I can tell you, two hundred and forty thousand would would go into crutch of today. Mm -hmm. Cre in fact, some crutches are paying half a million. Yeah. So let me play devil's advocate. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, okay. I get your side, and I'm completely in support. However, I remember my my argument always remains that there is keda and hierarchy, mm -hmm. right? So there are people that 
the level of education, like the vision you have for your kids is beautiful. And having shared some of it with me, I know that there is no way two million <laughs> do you understand? It's, it's like their school fees is running in, mm. you get? Now, there are other people that their vision for their kids is, may they enter school first. Mm. Let it just be that the answer, graduate. Mm. So for people within that caliber, that 65,000 or 180 might be a lot for them to churn out, mm. you know. So, and I can relate with that because I have been growing up, I happened to be in that caliber where it was, it was 28 I was paying, but it was a struggle for, like, I literally paid my school fees, typically at, at the point when it's almost close to the exams, because without paying my, without showing my receipts, I can't take mm. my exams, mm. you know? So, so, so yeah. let me, let me even answer that question. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, we need to, we need parents to move past that idea that maybe picking just go school. Yeah. Because there's no point. There's no point. Mm. I don't want you to come out and you are struggling. You are un un unemployable. unemployable. Mm -hmm. There's no point. You better make it. See, you better make the picking go learn trade. Mm. That make you just enter school just to answer the name graduate. So mm -hmm. first of all, that idea, scrap it. Secondly, it's true. Secondly, <laughs> I have seen mothers that are frying akara. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank kids are brutal. Ah, you thank kids that are broad, You know why I love and love I love a lot of Yoruba people. Do you know mm. why I love them? Is this thing that Yeah, we do our job and send their you kids abroad. See, eh? I told myself anything I want to do for this land, Lagos, I must stay because mm. there was just something about this Yoruba people. Whatever it is that they are doing, mm. that Pekin must go London. Mm. Ah, ah. Mm. But I, do you understand? Mm -hmm. to, to the point that it, so I'm just trying to picture, paint you a vivid picture here. You will hear that the woman is a booker that mm -hmm. she's running. But she's able to take her child abroad. Mm. My point is, right? First of all, prioritize education. Education mm -hmm. should not just be about collecting a degree. If yeah. not, stay in your house. Just go and learn a trade and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But if you truly want to understand education in the essence for which education is, mm. then it has to be a quality education. And quality education does not, not come cheap. Not cheap. Yeah. It doesn't come cheap. Yeah. So all these conversations around, oh, eh, eh, 65,000 to 180,000, mm. they are wasting their time. Even they themselves, they should be grateful. They should not find ways mm. to generate that money to be able to yeah. pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? That's why a lot of... Okay, look at the way it is now. They're already telling students that not, have not even entered university. Mm -hmm. They said, start planning, looking for summer jobs. Mm. Do you understand? So, of course, you want to get summer jobs, it is around this time. Mm -hmm. You will, yeah. will pre-apply. So that mm -hmm. by the time it's July, mm -hmm. you would... I mean, you'll be, you at least you, job. thank yeah. you. You are sure that, okay, something will come to you. Mm -hmm. So people, this is a system that understands the importance that these things are expensive. So for us to be able to keep up, they are so, so already it plans the student's yeah. life. Yeah. They know that someone must work. Yeah. You mm -hmm. understand? For every holiday, you know, they must, they, they put a structure to their life. And mm -hmm. they say, okay, if I, ex, if I do this work, I can, and then students are able to work. Yeah. Why did Canada lift the, you know, before Canada restricted mm -hmm. the number Working of hours, hours yeah. for students? Well, now they've lifted that bar. They so understand. understand. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. If mm -hmm. the, so the school fees don't come cheap. Yeah. yeah. And so most Nigerians that are even living for Canada, why? It's because they want their children to already be in the system before they turn 18. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that when it's time for them to go into the university, they will be paying the, the uh, what's it called, the indigenous fee. Because there's the international fee, international fee is like over, it's, is like yeah, two it's times, really expensive. Yeah. you understand, yeah. the yeah. indigenous yeah. fee. Yeah. 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 So, where everybody is thinking, oh, uh, university abroad is free, it's free because somebody is paying for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we need to really be serious about, you know, education mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Yeah. I agree. And if it means for us to collapse <clears throat> some educational institutions that are not productive, collapse them. Yeah. Yeah. And let's have more, see, let me tell you something. If we have people managing the educational um, institutions like it is being like it's a business that is being run, mm. just like what it I will, say with Nigeria, it will it will they change. Will generate, it will, you'll be it will change the craft, the art department. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Don't people buy artworks? Don't people do all of these art things? Art and media. Mm -hmm. Media. Do you understand? Very strong. You do you do theater shows? People sell out tickets. Do you mm -hmm. Just like the way you have it everywhere, you can do all of these things. You sell tickets. So you must not think creatively. Mm. So that's why if you not have a school of creativity, mm. you know that, okay, this is like... Because the, the, the Nigerian um, government, is, you can clearly see that part of their strong focus is the creative industry. Yeah. Even the governor mentioned it even in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. So if you understand that the creative industry is very valuable, it's bringing in a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You understand? What stops you mm -hmm. as a government to say, you know what, let's invest in the creative department 
of most of the universities mm. and start to churn out content, creative and tech. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Cre and tech, create content, create products that people can say, you know what, I'm spending, I would buy my tickets. Mm -hmm. So the way the Mbobi and all of them are yeah. selling out shows, yeah. Yeah. they will be selling out shows because they say, ah, have you seen Unilad Theatre Department? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I've seen my children do plays. Omo, I dug my heart for them. Mm. Secondary school students, if you see the kind of things that they do in their, in, in, in their school in Olashere, you would think that this production was done like in, in a, a proper film institution. Oh, mm. wow. So they are talented people. Mm. So if the schools become a lot more creative, mm -hmm. you know, some of these things, so the school might not, not need to increase the fees. Do you get? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... The money must come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's true. But you see, the laziest way to generate this money is to just dump it back on the yeah, on the, the parents. Yeah, parents. You understand? Yeah. That's the laziest way. But mm. if the schools too become mm. a lot more creative, mm. there's a lot that can happen. Mm. Mm. There's a lot that can happen. I I also okay. So like for schools abroad, you would hear that um, oh, if you want to do medicine, or if you're looking for you know, if, you, if you're looking for quality education in terms of maybe healthcare or medicine, you probably go to a school like John Hopkins. Mm. You, you understand? So I'm thinking in Nigeria, again, because driving, um, driving registration is part of what brings income into mm -hmm. a university. So if I am a, a university owner, yeah. my job as a VC or the registrar or whatever is to ensure that we're able to drive people, we're a preferred choice, you mm. know, for people seeking admission into the university. How can I do that? I can say, okay, you know what? I can make one faculty a specialty. If you're looking to go into maybe, um, I don't know, medicine, and or, this will be the best, this is the best Nigeria. exactly. Mm. We have the best program, the best curriculum, the best teaching program, the best. You will start seeing because then it is strategic. And then people be will known for something. Exactly. People will understand the value of education, will begin to strategically position their children or their wards to say, okay, you know what? This is a cheaper alternative than going abroad. You say you want to do this. This is the school. So everything you're doing is geared towards, ah, I must get into that program. Mm -hmm. I must get into that school. Now, the mistake Nigerian universities make is... Every subject. On, exactly. So unlike the <laughs> world. Mm. They are, our education in Nigeria is fairly... It, it doesn't give us independence. All encompassing. Or no, so. no, no. It doesn't even give you independence. When you go to school in Nigeria, it doesn't teach you to think. Mm. It doesn't. Yes. I, co I completely agree. It, it doesn't. It doesn't teach you to think. Let me take our first mm. caller. Mm. Okay. Sorry, darling. Yeah. Um, you're live. Good evening. Hello? Are you there? Sorry, I can't hear. Is this speaking because, because we can't hear? Okay, you were going to say. Yeah, yeah, I was saying that the point about learning to think for a very long time in my life, I realized that I, I don't even know how to think. Like, I know how to envision and maybe, um, maybe think for a little while, but I don't know how to get into the depths of me and think out mm. solutions. Do you understand? And it was a book, I think, it's, I think it was one book like that you gave me years ago, one red cover book about, I can't remember. But those were the, that was the book that made me realize, ah, Sandra, there's a problem. Mm. <laughs> we, we have a call. Do we have a caller? Okay, you're live. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. My dear beautiful sister, good evening. Good evening. This is Walter from Abia State. Yes, so we can hear your voice. That's 55 thousand people. See, let me tell you. Any country that their leadership battles with certificate is Certificate that, you know what I mean, can never give policy education. They can never put more interest in education. Look at what is happening. They will give themselves millions of dollars in buying SUV. But in education, because they know they can maneuver themselves and become a big graduate overseas, 
Personally, I, I, I don't know what to say to that because I mean, funding is funding for education all over the world is challenging. America keeps pumping money, even at primary level, mm -hmm. all their public school system, and they keep pumping money. Yet the money is never enough. Never. It's education. Education keeps evolving. It keeps evolving. The needs get, keep getting Before, what bigger. What I government, mm -hmm. like I mean, as it said yesterday. Tertiary institution is a luxury. It is. You see that primary and secondary. Mm. Let government revive our public schools. Mm. Yeah. So that somebody like me can take my child to a government school and because be comfortable it is that doing, it's, it's doing well in hunting. public education. <coughs> mm -hmm. Honestly. Also, frankly speaking, there is a lot to be learned from books. I was talking about the book that exposed me to the fact that I didn't know how to think. I think I remember the name of that book, Kate Johnson or so, The Confidence mm -hmm. Makeover. Mm -hmm. You were the one that gave me that book. It was so, in the book, you were meant to like think about yourself and think about confidence and think. For a long time, I didn't know what to think about because I just didn't understand the art of, of thinking. thinking mm. You know? So sometimes, yes, the, the government should give us, invest better in schools and stuff, but on our own part, like there's a lot of things that my school did not say. All of us went to English department, but nobody all of us, they speak English like this. <laughs> Do you understand? There were some people from Annabelle that still had L and R issue. And all of us were in the same, we were writing speech, we were reading literature, <laughs> we were doing all these things. But I wanted to be better. I think that I didn't want people to listen to me and say, ah, L, R, she's from Anambra. I didn't want that. So I made the extra effort to invest in myself. So yes, your parents might be able to afford 180000 or you may not even be able to afford the luxury of tertiary education, but you can always learn a lot more in books. Mm. Because that book you are reading may be from someone that has gone to Harvard and is giving you an, an, an insight into the mind of a Harvard graduate. So mm -hmm. take advantage of that. Absolutely. Let's take comments quickly. Okay, so this one is from... This one says, um, most of our elites enjoyed education without any stress, but today they are systematically destroying public schools and education in the country. The so-called leaders are clueless and lack the will, power to provide quality education. Raphael from Zaria. So good evening, ladies. 65,000 can't deliver quality education in Nigeria today. Um, it says, in today's Nigeria, rather, it can't even deliver quality primary education. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. <laughs> Recall we mentioned how education um, neglected in Nigeria not long ago. Truth is, the entire education system is wrong. Mm. Federal and state government uh, got no business running universities like we have. Yes, yes. This government-owned universities being subsidized all these years and with neglect never reinvented for changing realities. Now, okay. ideally, the government should have... In invited private sector to invest god we bless you and run the universities instead of proliferation of private universities we now have um it says um quality over quantity until we have people in government serious about revamping education in nigeria the road continues unfortunately it says but how with all the government having their children's school um, um with all the government having their children's school offshore Serious countries like educa uh, take education seriously for obvious reason. 
So, so it's not going to be possible for us for them to revamp the education because all the government officials are taking their schools, uh, yeah. their, their yeah. words abroad. Me yeah. or Molly, ah, even me, we will take our children abroad. <laughs> so we all meet there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 I was telling my, I was telling my, my friend. I said, not be my children will tell you the state will experiment. My friends <laughs> experimented with us. See where we landed. <laughs> no, you know, like we turned out well, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters. Of what are you saying? Hashtag is. Can 65,000 Naira give quality high education? The answer is a capital no. This is just like a child's play and chicken change. My dear beautiful sister Owa said that education in Nigeria is a sorry state and they don't invest enough. You cannot give good and quality education with that amount. Nigeria should invest more in education and prioritize it. When a teacher or lecturer earns less, it is because there is no quality delivery. I am feeling very guilty right now. Forgive me, my two beautiful and amazing sisters, Oa and Sandra, for not wishing you a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you two ladies. Many more years and sound health. Love you loads. God bless you all. Daniel Ilo, always regular fan. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> On that note, we're going to take a break. Oh, there is one moment. Okay. Oh, yeah, quickly. All right. Uh, primary education is the foundation for any serious country, followed by secondary education. This was why late Awolowo made primary education free in the old western region in Nigeria. On that note, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. We move. <laughs> Before On we what? go, I ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Wayshow Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment. Most importantly, follow us. You know, like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you missed this very interesting quote, it says, We cannot, as a country, improve economically, socially, and culturally without quality education. Simply not going to happen. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao.